Hello students, we are solving the section B of maths paper uh, which is held on 20th March 2017. I'm taking a Delhi region paper and set 3 and in this part of the video will solve question number 5 to 8. Question number 5 says prove that if E and F are independent events then the events E and F dash are also independent. This is a very simple question. Let's solve. Given P of E intersection F equals P E into P F, they being independent. And the target is The proof or the solution. Now, can you see that what is only E? This is only E. So, only E is if you use the set theory, so there are two sets E and F, then only this part is. E intersection F dash. So using that we have taken there is no need to show this Venn diagram in a paper this is for your understanding and now since uh, E intersection F are independent so we can quickly write them as and can you take PE common? So as soon as you take PE common This is not of F, that is P of F dash. So it's quickly done. We have proved that if E and F are independent, so will be E and F dash. This is question number six. A small firm manufacturer, a small firm manufactures necklace and bracelets. The total number of necklaces and bracelets it can handle per day is at most 24. It takes one hour to make a bracelet and half an hour to make a necklace. The maximum numbers of hours available per day is 16. If the profit on a necklace is rupees 100 and that of bracelet is rupees 300, formulate on LPP. LPP stands for linear programming problem for finding how many of each should be produced daily to maximize profit it is being given that at least one of each must be produced so these type of questions uh, they demand that one should read them again so please read them either pause a video or we can solve it together we can clearly take x to be let Let x be number of necklaces and y be number of bracelets and clearly the object is to maximize. So Z maximum is rupees 100 plus 300Y because the profit the profit on a necklace is rupees 100 per unit so the profit uh, is 100X plus 300Y since it's a two marker there is no need to explain you can directly write 100X plus 300Y subject to now we have to form subjective function subject to so the first is x plus y less than equal to 24 because this is limitation then is the time constraint because how many hours are available only maximum 16 hours are available and you can clearly look and you can make half the necklace you can make bracelet in one hour 
and that is the time limitation. There is no need to specify since it's a two marker you can directly formulate and then and these two are very important along with you can add non-negative constraints so these two are also important this is that at least one of them that at least one of each is produced so x is greater than or equal to one and y is greater than or equal to one along with you have written x comma y greater than or equal to zero so this is the structure and you to only formulate because the language is a little confusing but when you read it they say formulate on lpp for finding uh, for finding that how many of each can be produced they are not emphasizing on how that we should be finding the number that which number will be to maximize no they're saying formulate on lpp for finding how many of each can be produced so there is no need to find x and y you can only formulate and we can leave it thank you very much question number seven integrate one upon x squared plus four x plus eight this is a very simple question convert this into perfect square and then apply suitable special integration so let's solve since the question is very simple To convert this into perfect square, I need the square of 2 or I can even break 8 as 4 plus 4. So if I break 8 as 4 plus 4, we can turn this into And since it's a two marker, there is no need to give the presentation. But still, if you want to write, this is 1 by a tan inverse of x upon a. And using that, you can write 1 by 2 tan inverse of x plus 2 upon 2 plus c. Since this expression is linear, there is no need to substitute. You can directly integrate. And the answer is no doubt 1 by 2 tan inverse of x plus 2 upon 2 plus c. Question number 8. Find the vector equation of a line passing through the point capital A 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 and parallel to the line 5x minus 25 equals 14 minus 7y equals 35z. So this is very simple. Since the required line is parallel to the given line so the d ratios will be equal or proportional but the only trick the question demands is to get the given line in the standard form so we can solve it together the given line is So we can divide by 5 in the first case. We can divide by minus 7. And 35 in case of third. So the D ratios of the given line are And the D ratios can also be taken as, if I multiply with 35, so they can also be taken as 7 is to minus 5 is to 1. Since the lines are parallel, so the D ratios of the required line will also be the same. So I can take that as M vector, which is 7i minus 5j plus k. The line, the required line, is passing through the point A, which is 1, comma, 2, comma, minus 1. Therefore, OA can be taken as I plus 2J minus K. And since they have given us to find the answer in the vector form, so we'll be using R vector is equal to OA plus lambda times of M. 
So the answer is I plus 2J minus K plus lambda times 7I minus 5J plus K. So this is the required answer. Thank you very much.